so you love Milford, but you don't necessarily want to live right near the water. North Milford is a great option for you, and I'm going to tell you why. Hi, I'm Stacey Olson with the Valentini team of William Ravis Real Estate, and on my channel, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about living on the Connecticut coast. So you might be saying North Milford. It's true. There are so many little sections of Milford that have their own unique personality. I've done videos previously on Devon and one on Woodmont. And today I'm going to talk about North Milford and what makes it special. So where is it? It's kind of just north of the post road route one or just north of 95, but it's kind of sandwiched in a triangle between 95, the Housatonic River and the town of Orange. But what's great about it is that you do get a little bit more property here, but it's only five to 10 minutes from downtown, the beaches, the Metro North Station, and all the things that make Milford a great city to live in. So first I have to tell you about Eisenhower Park. This is a 200 acre park right in North Milford that has so much going on. So first, as you enter the park, you're gonna notice this massive playground. It's called Bodie's Place. And they had a big renovation a few years ago to make it handicap accessible. But let me tell you, this playground is large. They have many playscapes. There's swing sets, there's a sandbox, there's bathrooms right there. It's really an amazing playground for you and your children. And then immediately next to that, you see tennis courts, pickleball courts, paddleball courts. There's so much going on right there as you enter the park. As an added bonus, right behind the playground, they recently added a splash pad. So when your kids are complaining during those hot summer months, this is the perfect place to bring them. The park is just so big. They also have an extensive network of trails. There's a softball field and they host many community events there throughout the year. They have a fire truck muster. They had a touch a truck there years ago. They've had scouting events. They had food festivals. I mean, this is really a place that partners with the city and contributes a lot, whether it's for exercise and sports or for great family-friendly events. Another great thing about Eisenhower is it has a dog park. This is a co-mingled dog park, so that means there's small and large dogs. And technically, I wouldn't say it's a dog park. It's more of a dog run, but it is fenced in, and it's a great opportunity for people that don't have a lot of property to just let their dogs out and run and get that energy out. And, you know, if you do want to walk the trails outside of the dog park, you're more than welcome as long as your dog is leashed. Another great thing about the park is it actually has the Milford Community Gardens. This was started, I think, 1968, and it's still running strong and has over 250 people that participate every year. And in 1991, they actually went fully organic. These gardens are open from April 1st to November 1st. And let's be honest, not everybody has a yard large enough to garden in. So this gives an opportunity not only to get out there, but to meet new people, exercise, and the best part about it is all of the food that's grown is donated to local food banks. How awesome is that? So if the hiking trails at Eisenhower Park aren't enough for you, we also have Solomon Woods in North Milford. It's on a hundred acres of wooded land, and it's about two and a half miles of interconnecting trails. The first trail as you enter at the trailhead is very family friendly. It's a nice, easy loop. But if you go on the larger loop, just be warned that you will be crossing over several streams and kind of, you know, getting in the muck, but it's definitely worth it. And it's a beautiful walk. And as an added bonus, during the winter months, you can go snowshoeing or cross-country skiing in Solomon Woods. And, you know, quite honestly, in Connecticut, sometimes you can't do cross-country skiing because it's too hilly or bumpy or whatever, but this is like the perfect place to do that. 
So North Milford has two golf courses. First, I'm gonna talk about Great River Golf Course. This is a beautiful championship 18 hole golf course that is right along the Housatonic River. And it's really breathtaking. They have clinics, lessons, camps, tournaments. You can have your wedding there or some type of corporate event. It really offers a lot to the community. This course is actually affiliated with Sacred Heart University. So if you are an alumni there or a current student, you do get discounts on things like clinics and camps. So that's always good to know. The second golf course is the Orchards, but this one is only a nine hole golf course. But you know what? That makes it fun for all abilities and it's really, really affordable. It's a great way to get out and have some fun. Whether you don't want to commit to 18 holes and you know a whole day of golfing, or maybe you, you're a beginner or you have a child that's just learning to play, this is a great way to get out there and play without committing to a full day of 18 hole golf. A definite must see is Tribus Beer Co. if you're a beer drinker. This is the first brewery that actually opened up in Milford. And not only are they an amazing partner with the community, they sponsor things like the 4th of July 5K, they have social media workshops, pop-up events. They have this great back room that you can have like parties or corporate events at. They also have trivia nights, they have game nights, and they have great beers. There's always a food truck on the property and it's dog friendly. So you can bring your pup as long as it's on a leash. So kind of shifting gears, as I was leaving Tribus one of the first times I went there, I noticed all these motorbikes and they were riding on these trails in this area very close to the brewery and I had no idea what it was. Well, apparently it is the Milford Riders Motorcycle Club. Who knew? It is a private club and you have to go on a waiting list to join. But you know what? If that's something you're into, it's worth looking into it because you don't really get that in a lot of places. It's pretty cool and it's fun to watch. And kind of in the same genre, there is a skate park in Northern Milford as well. And it's really used for both experience and inexperienced, not only skateboarders, but inline skaters and BMXers. So it's just a nice place for people to go if they wanna practice. And you know, I, it's terrible, but a lot of times skateboarders, you know, people think they're a nuisance when they're riding around town. And it, you know, this gives them an opportunity to get out there, nobody can say anything, and it's really their own area where they can do whatever they want. It's just a nice thing to have in a town. Another great thing about North Milford is they have the Scouts of America's Connecticut Yankee Council, which is the local chapter of the Scouts. And they provide programming and services for Fairfield County, New Haven County, and parts of Hartford County. So if you have a scout in your family, this makes it super easy because they have a full service shop there. So you can go get uniforms, patches, Pinewood Derby stuff, anything you could need for camping. And they do all like the sewing for the patches and things like that there. And there's also a museum. So when you go, you should definitely check it out. And I have to give a shout out to a local family farm. It's Testo's Family Farm. And it's just a beautiful place to go and support your local community farmers. They have all sorts of events throughout the year. They have a farmer's market. They do birthday parties. They have pony rides. They do Christmas trees during the holiday season. So I'm a big supporter of local community run farms. So if you're in the area, you should check it out. Have I sold you on North Milford yet? If not, there's plenty of other great places in the city to think about. One of my favorites is Woodmont. Check out this video to find out why.